So in our today's class, we will again learn a new concept of economics that is factors of production and which is the very basic concept of economics and without knowing the factors of production, we cannot learn more and more things about economics. So we have need to clear the basic ideas of the factors of production. So there are four factors of production and without these four factors of production, no production activity can take place in an economy. So what are these four factors of production? These four factors of production are land, labor, land, labor capital and organization. Okay. So these four are the basic factors of production, land, labor, capital, organization. If any kind of production activity um, we need to take, need to take place in an economy, then these four factors are very much essential for um, producing that commodity or the production activity to take place. Okay. So, uh, we will learn one by one what are these four factors of production. First of all, what is land? See, land is the gift of nature. We all know what is land, where we live, the place where we live, the land, the surface area where we live, that is land. So, land is the gift of nature and without land, without a land, we cannot set up or build any infrastructure or any building which is required for developing or for setting up a organization company or factory okay so land is very much necessary without a land without a fixed area of land we cannot build the our build our company and if we cannot build a company or if we cannot build the infrastructure the buildings then where we will do our production activity so for developing or for doing any kind of um, buildings or any kind of company land is very much necessary okay so now the second thing is labor labor means what labors are the persons who works in the company they are very much necessary for the company because without this person without the laborers we cannot produce any commodity only with the help of machines because machines cannot run alone who will run the machine the labor will run the machine okay so laborers are very much necessary for the uh, uh, for producing the commodity so there are two types of labor, manual labor and sophisticated labor. So who are manual laborers? Manual laborers are those persons who do the manual works in a company like packaging, labeling, carrying loads. So all these kinds of uh, uh, manual works, the manual worker used to do and they are very much skilled in their work. And second one is sophisticated labor or the sophisticated laborers are those laborers who the who are educated okay manual laborers are not so much educated that's why they got the job of manual works but the sophisticated laborers are they are educated highly skilled and they they manages these manual workers and the sophisticated labor used to do was like they used to uh, they used to sit in a computer and do all kinds of uh, uh, account accounting the uh, different costs of the company then the managing means the managers the supervisors all these are sophisticated workers or laborers okay so this factor is very very much necessary for the company like land now third one is capital so capital refers to all man-made things, man-made things like money, money who has made money, man has made money. So without money, nothing is there, zero, we, not, no, we cannot even, um, we cannot even uh, get, have the courage to do a business activity without money. So money is very, very necessary for producing the company, for producing any kinds of goods. So, uh, 
capital refers to first of all it is money money is very necessary very much necessary then second is machines buildings tools and equipments then the means of transportation okay all these things from how we will get all these things if we have money in our hand then only we can buy all these things and develop or set up our company so capital all these are known as capital so capital is but it is very much necessary for the for producing the goods or commodity like land and labor so capital one is capital so capital is also necessary for doing the production activity and the last factor is organization so what is organization organization refers to the entrepreneur okay the entrepreneur who regulates the works of the company so the uh, entrepreneur means the person who is the owner of the business uh, company he is known as the entrepreneur so he formulates all the policies of the company he regulates the company he manages everything in the company whatever uh, uh, risk Uh, is there he undertakes all the risks if the com- if if the company cannot make profit then what who will bear the risk the entrepreneur will bear all the risk of the company and uh, uh, the labors and uh, labor but the labors they will not bear the risk of the company because they will they will have to they will get the salary because the entrepreneur is liable to give them thus their salary but he himself will undertake all the risk and if he is making profit then he will become more and more successful so this is the uh, organization about organization so organization is also very much necessary because the organization he organizes the land labor and capital then he produces the commodity of the econ commodity for of his uh, company in the economy okay so all these four are the four factors of production which is necessary for producing any good or commodity in an economy okay so if you like my video please hit the like button and um, comment below in the comment box how the how the how you like the class about the factors of production and please subscribe my channel education for you and please 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 don't forget to share it with your friends please learn and give you, tell your friends also to learn about factors of production